Bruce, are you all right? I'm fine, Alfred. I was keeping an eye on you over the security feed. Well, breaking into my own company was unexpected. Things could have gone so much worse. That you managed to keep both John and Tiffany quiet was a masterstroke, Bruce. Still, that young woman is smarter than both of us, Bruce. It's only a matter of time before she puts the rest of the pieces together. I heard you reveal that Lucius worked with Batman. But will that satisfy her? You know what she's like. She won't stop digging until she gets to the truth. Maybe we should just... tell her. I've always regretted not being more honest with you about your father's life. Don't make the same mistake I did. You're right. I'll be as honest with Tiffany as I can. Very good. Uh, with regards to tonight's other catastrophes... Your night watchman got a nasty lump on the head, but don't worry. He'll be fine. I've already arranged for him to get a generous payout and an extended vacation. And replace tonight's offending security camera feed with dummy footage. I yeah, thank you. As for Regina, I'm afraid she's going to be curious about your friends from upstate. Your encounter there was too bizarre to be ignored. After what went on, it'll be a challenge to smooth things over with her. It's all coming so fast. One thing after another. You need to take it easy, Al. Get some rest. It's only a momentary bit of exhaustion. I'm sure it will pass. Bruce. I know we agreed there was no better way to get to Bane. But this whole adventure with John and Harley, well, frankly, it's exhausting. Well, be careful and good luck. to you too. Here. You're welcome. It's information on Harleen Quinzel from Sealed Records we dug up at the coroner's office. Harleen Quinzel's father committed suicide after decades of struggling with mental illness. Yeah, tough story. Quinzel was a devoted, successful doctor. But she couldn't save her. Must have been hard on her. The trauma of her father's death caused her breakdown. Turned her into the monster she is today. Now, I know what she's done, but I can't help but feel a little sorry for her. It's gotta be rough on a person, going through all that. Yeah. The loss of a loved one can do that. I'd have to imagine it would. Gordon, you're dismissed. This is still my goddamn station house. He's forgetting I'm the one who can make or break his career right now. You only remind me every other minute. Clearly, I need a better method of getting the message across. That's enough, Waller. This is Jim's precinct. He's free to do as he pleases. Maybe you weren't paying attention, but this is my turf now. You're gonna push me too far, you hear me? Is that a threat? No. Just God's honest truth. Something you wouldn't know a damn thing about. She's got some kind of leverage on you, doesn't she? If she's jammed you up somehow, just say the word. I'll appeal to the mayor, the governor, whatever it takes to get her off your back. I I'll do whatever I can to help you. She knows who I am, Jim. 
Oh, yeah? Well, so do I. You're Batman. That's all you ever have to be. That's all Gotham needs you to be. And you, if you're threatening to take that away, you should be ashamed of yourself. I don't want to hear it. Just supposed to come to Gotham, put the chains on Riddler and his gang, and get the hell out. I'm just saying this city gets under your skin fast. Know what I mean? This laid plans and all that. You didn't choose this profession because it's easy. You do the job, or you don't. You're absolutely right. I guess you locals see it differently. Agent of Esther. She fought to get on this assignment, you know. Wanted to see her old neighborhood, wanted to see you, her hometown hero. She wanted to impress you. She admires what you do for the people of this city. Your respect is important to her. She certainly succeeded on that front. She's one of my best. Still, wouldn't impress you. It's the same thing that made her move too fast on Riddler. Now there's a lesson learned. So, Wayne Enterprises. Heard you made some new friends. You're having me followed. Thanks to you, these very bad people have an EMP and a key that'll open every lock I would want to keep bolted shut. They're clearly planning something. The stakes are too high to leave anything to chance. You know, I actually considered asking you to infiltrate Riddler's gang. Before everything blew up, I knew I could count on you to get me close to them. Close to Bane. You're good at this. Seems like you've already won Harley Quinn's trust. Did you really think I'd let you tackle this group by yourself? Remember what kind of hand I'm holding, Bruce. Listen, Bruce. Get them away from their base of operations. Somewhere, they'll be exposed. When they're all together, out in the open, contact me. I'll be standing by, ready to ambush. We'll take them down when they're at their most vulnerable. Sound good? They'll never know what hit them. You need to involve Gordon. Don't tell me how to run my operation. His people know this city better than anyone. And they have their hands filled with other priorities right now. Batman, if it gets bad for you, just remember, we're out here. When you're in deep like this, you need friends. Let's say everything goes pear-shaped, and you get stuck in there longer than you'd like. Then what's right, what's wrong, it all gets blurry. And guess what? That's okay. Because you're going to have to do some blurry things that you are not proud of before this is done. You hear me? That's just how these kinds of operations go down. I created Batman to strike fear into criminals, not become one. Batman's not the one rubbing shoulders with them at the moment. You should think about which one Gotham really needs right now. I'm in. Just don't stay embedded any longer than necessary. I'll be in and out, Alfred. Just long enough to figure out their plans. Good luck, Bruce. Stay safe. Welcome to our little hideaway and home away from home, the end of the line. We're happy to have you. 
Thanks, John. You said you'd kill him after you got what you needed. So what? Ain't a girl allowed to change her mind? Could someone get me out of these handcuffs, please? Tell me why I shouldn't kill you. <laughs> well, it seems like the Prince of Gotham is more like an empty suit. I bring us back the transport and the arms we require. You, you bring back a worthless aristocrat. We don't need his money. We have what we need to finish this. Thanks to me. He ain't worthless, you overgrown bicep. He already got us an EMP device and the failing ski. I'll betcha I can find a use for him. I do not care how much these two swoon over you, Wayne. We don't want you here, and we don't need you here. What the hell? John, <laughs> turn it off! Turn it off! Now! Can you do something about this? It's freeze. Freeze is coming. What have you done? You need to uncuff me. Don't screw this up. You fool! I can turn it off. Make it stop! I will seal you both in ice! I swear, if you don't get that electricity back on immediately, I'll send you to a frozen hell. We know that it works. I must check on Nora. See how she is. You may have impressed these two, but I haven't made up my mind about crushing your skull. Fair enough. Everyone back to work. There's still a lot to get done. Who put you in charge? Somebody has to give the orders. That was a nice job before. Come on up to my office. Listen, Bruce. I just want to clear the air a little. You distanced yourself from us back at your office. I don't blame you, after all the trouble I caused. You probably noticed I like to stir things up. It's a bad habit. Well, it's made me more enemies than friends. I want to say I'm sorry for messing with your people. Your employees. I know they probably mean a lot to you. Thank you, Harley. Your apology means a lot. Really? You probably think I'm a terrible person, but I want you to understand. You've seen these animals I work with. In my business, you let your guard down for a second, you get torn to shreds. I can only imagine. If I'm always pushing buttons, it's to keep people off balance, you know? Keep them guessing my next move. Keep the real me hidden. I hope you ain't gonna judge me for it. To be honest, I've been at it so long, I don't even notice I'm doing it. It's just a part of who I am. You keep your cards close to your chest, don't you, Bruce? That's one of the reasons I like you. You ain't like these others. 
Bane's a powder keg. Freeze. <laughs> well, you saw Freeze. John's sweet. And believe me, he's got heaps of potential. But he's still a growing boy. You, though? You got your head screwed on right. You're reasonable. I can work with reasonable. We're pulling a job tonight. I want you to be a part of it. You already showed you know how to use that EMP better than any of these other clowns. I want you to come with. I'm in. Just tell me what to do. That's what I wanted to hear. All will be revealed eventually. Using that EMP, though, that's gonna make tonight's job a whole lot less messy. And that no-neck asshat pain, he loves making a mess. <laughs> People getting killed just makes his day. If you're gonna come with, you gotta convince the others. Convince them? It's a real pain in the ass sometimes, but you need a majority opinion for anything big. And bringing you along, well, you got some persuading to do. Let me know how I can help. I get the feeling Bane doesn't like me very much. That knucklehead respects strength and loyalty. Show him you got those, and he'll come around. He's a man's man. I don't got much time for all that burly machismo, but sit him down for a beer or something. He'll hear what you gotta say. He may kill you when you're done, but at least he'll listen. So what's the deal with Freeze? He's... Unique. You mean why he's blue and wrapped up in machinery? Accident in the lab. Here's the thing about Freeze. Only thing he gives two hoots about is his wife. He gave up everything to try and save her when she got sick. And I mean everything. Job, health, soul, the whole shebang. She's dead? Frozen stiff. Keeps her on ice in the next room while he searches for a cure. Ain't that just kooky? I mean, it explains why he flipped when the EMP went off. But seriously, who does that? I know, right? That was my reaction the first time I heard. Talking about his wife is the only way to get Freeze to pay attention to you. But watch yourself. His attention ain't always a good thing. I'll go talk to the others, see what I can do to change their minds. I've got faith in you, handsome.